Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. This enormous gas giant has an incredible gravitational pull, allowing it to reign over more than 60 moons. Jupiter's four largest moons are also known as the Galilean moons. They were named after Galileo Galilei, an Italian astronomer who discovered the four moons through his telescope in 1610. This was the first time moons were discovered orbiting a planet other than the Earth. These four moons are Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. They are all fittingly named after mythological lovers of the Roman god Jupiter. These moons all have unbelievable characteristics and defining qualities. As we travel to each of the Galileans, we will discover that some moons can be just as remarkable as planets. The first of these Galilean moons is Io. Io is the third largest Galilean. It has a day and a year length of 1.8 Earth days. Io is the most volcanic body known in the solar system. Over 400 active volcanoes exist on Io. These volcanoes spew sulfurous materials. The most powerful volcanic eruptions send sulfur-based compounds over 300 miles high. This volcanic activity makes Io the most geologically active object in the solar system. Io is composed of silicate rock surrounding a molten iron or iron sulfide core. This core may allow it to have its own magnetic field. Io's surface consists of mountain ranges, volcanoes with fallout rings, lava flows, calderas, which are formed by collapsed volcanoes, and what appear to be lakes of molten sulfur. Io's surface is covered by colorful debris from the eruptions. The hottest points reach over 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit, but the average surface temperature is negative 226 degrees Fahrenheit. There are very few impact craters on Io. This could be due to the fact that Io constantly renews its surface by filling craters with molten lava. Why does Io have so many volcanoes? One reason is that Io is in a resonant orbit with Europa and Ganymede. This means that they exert a regular and periodic gravitational influence on each other. For each orbit of Ganymede, Europa orbits twice and Io orbits four times. The gravitational pull of the other two moons disturbs Io's orbit, making it incredibly elliptical. Its varying distance from Jupiter as it orbits causes the entire moon to flex from intense tidal forces. The flexing changes its shape by up to 330 feet at the equator. This constant friction within Io generates huge amounts of energy. Io's interaction with Jupiter's strong magnetic field also creates heat. It also turns Io into an electric generator. Io's electric current creates lightning in Jupiter's upper atmosphere. Due to all of the squeezing and pulling of Io's interior, it is no surprise that the moon is covered in volcanoes, outlets for the pressure generated by its constant internal turmoil. The second Galilean moon is Europa. It is the smallest of the four moons and about the size of Earth's moon. Europa's surface is mostly reflective ice with darker patches and streaks of rocky material. The ice forms across covering the entire moon to a depth of 62 miles. The surface is almost devoid of volcanoes and impact craters, making it one of the smoothest objects in the solar system. This may be because geysers of liquid reach the surface and then freeze, filling craters and renewing the surface with fresh ice. The solid ice might give way to a slushy ice or liquid water beneath the surface. If so, this would form the largest ocean in the solar system. In fact, Europa is thought to have twice as much water as the Earth. Recent data from a NASA planetary mission has given scientists a hint of what appears to be a body of liquid water the size of the Great Lakes trapped inside the icy surface of Europa. There are cracks across the surface of Europa. Patterns in the surface appear similar to Earth's tectonic plates. The large slabs of ice move slowly under the influence of the convection currents from liquid beneath. Europa is subject to tidal stretching forces from Jupiter, causing the interior to heat up. The warmth of its liquid ocean could allow simple organisms to survive, if they do exist. There are simple organisms living in similar conditions on Earth. Europa is the most likely place for life that we know of. However, for now, there is no clear-cut evidence of life existing anywhere other than the Earth. The third Galilean moon is Ganymede. 
Ganymede is the largest satellite in the solar system. It is larger than Mercury and Pluto and about three quarters the size of Mars. Ganymede has three main layers, a metallic iron core, a shell of rocky mantle, and an outer shell of mostly ice with some rock mixed in. The ice shell is almost 500 miles thick. Ganymede's iron core allows it to generate its own magnetic field. The surface is a mix of two types of terrain. It is 40% highly cratered dark regions and 60% light grooved terrain called sulcus. This sulcus was probably formed by tensional faulting or water release from beneath the surface. The large craters on Ganymede have almost no vertical height. They are rather flat and lack central depressions. There are several so-called phantom craters, or palimpsests, across the surface of Ganymede. The largest area in Ganymede is called Galileo Regio. However, contrary to popular belief, it is not an impact crater. It is a region of ancient dark material surrounded by brighter, younger material that has risen to the surface from the interior. There is also a large bright spot in the south. The rays there are probably the result of ice being thrown outward by a recent impact. Ganymede's rather astonishing size is its most remarkable feature. Callisto is the fourth and outermost Galilean moon and the third largest satellite in the entire solar system. Callisto is most famous for its craters. It is the most heavily cratered body in the solar system. The largest impact on the moon is called Valhalla. It is 2,485 miles in diameter. Callisto has shown no signs of extensive resurfacing since the impacts. There is hardly any geologic activity on its surface. It is often called a dead moon. Due to this inactivity, Callisto has a surface age of about 4 billion years. It is the oldest landscape in the solar system. Callisto may serve as a massive fossil of the earliest years of our solar system. Callisto can give us many clues about how our solar system began. Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto are just four of Jupiter's 63 or more moons. They are only a sample of the incredible moons in our solar system. The amazing discoveries of the Galilean moons are only the beginning to human understanding of the vast unknown.